a boxer who sparred with Canelo Pede. Pede. Yo, one Pede. I know that. And Terrence Crawford picks Canelo and he explains why. He respects both fighters, but I'll explain exactly what he said and who he is right here in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Let's jump straight into it. Now, a fighter, Kiron Davis, he's been in the ring with both Canelo Alvarez in terms of sparring, as well as Terrence Crawford. And he's weighed in. He did an interview with YSM Sports Media, and he picks Canelo Alvarez to defeat Crawford. And he explains why. He says, quote, I've been in the ring with Crawford, too. I got Crawford ready when he fought Sean Porter. I was with him for a few weeks. What do I think about that fight? Everybody knows Crawford has got skills, but I do think Canelo is a little big. He's a little big for Crawford, and it would be a tall task for Crawford to win. He goes on and says, it would be a lot to get a victory based on size alone. Not that size wins fights but you have a guy that has size and skills it would be hard nothing is impossible but if i had my money on someone winning the fight it would be Canelo alvarez baby he says terrence crawford is a great fighter they're both great fighters you got two great fighters in there canelo has the advantage due to his body makeup and his body and how big of a person he is I think that would be a deciding factor in that particular fight. And he says Crawford would absolutely need to fight the perfect fight in order to try to beat Canelo. Canelo punches will be a lot more effective than Crawford's punches if they fight at 168. So I think it'll be an issue. It's not impossible for Crawford to win, but it will be hard. End quote. Now, I really do not see what the allure with this fight is, especially when we just watched Jermail Charlo. Not that Crawford is the same fighter as Jermail Charlo. Obviously, he's not. He carries his own skill set and he does his things his way. However, the basic DNA, the DNA of the fight is roughly the same. You have an undersized person fighting somebody who is bigger than him. And instead of Charlo moving up two weight classes, you have a person who is moving up three. And that would be Crawford coming from welterweight to 168. Now, I understand that boxing loves these little like Cinderella man type of stories where you have this massive underdog and against all odds, this person does all this stuff. I mean, that's pretty much the premise of Rocky movie. The popularity of Rocky Balboa is he was considered a bum in the boxing world. And then he fights Apollo Creed, gets his name drawn in a lottery pick. And then, you know, gives a tough fight and shows heart. Later beats Drago and Clubber Lang and stuff like that. So it's kind of a rags to riches story. Hey, you know, Apollo, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I do. Let me show you something you already know, kid. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbow. It's a mean and a cruel place to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? This whole Rocky. It's like the Creed movies. I get it. I get it that Crawford is a skilled fighter, but so is Canelo Alvarez. And I think the level of disrespect for Canelo Alvarez is crazy. Now, trust me, I've criticized Canelo heavily on my channel for the things he deserves credit to you know to for us to dissect but it doesn't take away that he's actually a good fighter you know what i mean he just does some bs from time like fighting the smaller charlo fighting you know avni yildrum instead of fighting david morrell or benavidez we know what canelo does right and we know what canelo does wrong i swear i am the best in the business and it's not even close when you look at what i brought to the game what i continue to bring to the game it's it's remarkable it's remarkable to see because you you can listen to me you don't have to listen to me it doesn't matter at the end of the day there's a lot of bs 
when it comes to boxing and people have grudges and personal biases and i get it to a degree everybody has some level of of a bias but not where it's so overt you know like these overt biases like crawford is undersized compared to canelo people played this game with jermail charlo say oh charlo he's really secretly bigger than canelo alvarez and your boy ego told you exactly what it was and the fight actually played out like i was talking about just because you're naturally taller you got height and some length on you it doesn't change the fact that you're not standard for this division you're not fighting at this weight caliber now you have a guy who's been in there with crawford he's been in there with canelo and he's picking canelo because of the size like i don't think anyone's doubting that if crawford was naturally in the same division as canelo maybe that'd be a different story but for him to move up 21 pounds is really senseless and it looks like a money grab type of fight now i don't think crawford would necessarily perform like charlo and take it like a money grab and just like show up for seemingly a paycheck i think he's going to try his best but what happens when you can't move canelo then it becomes a different thing and we've seen crawford hurt from smaller people like gamboa so canelo can definitely hurt him and you listen to all the fighters like oscar de la hoya switched up you listen to bernard hopkins you listen to a fighter who's been in the ring with both canelo and crawford and the fans are saying something completely different and it's funny because people say oh ego you're just a youtuber but bernard hopkins oscar de la hoya actual fighters and a fighter who sparred both of them they saying the same thing as your boy ego it's a weird fight it doesn't make sense i would rather see crawford versus tim zoo brian mendoza winner crawford versus boots ennis canelo versus the guys he's supposed to be fighting like david benavidez andrade winner or morel period i'm the best in the business i make it so there's no discussion subscribe to the channel let me know what you think of kiron davis sparring partner who picks canelo really says canelo's too big which is similar to what we've heard from a lot of people trainer abel sanchez and other people i named drop your thoughts in the comment section best in the introducing super thanks right here on the official boxing ego youtube super thanks allows you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself but other people on the youtube platform super thanks a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work.